the 2022 IS2000 UK National Championship was held in Weymouth, Portland, from the 14th to the 19th August. A number of 57 boats entered for this year's event, with 10 races sailed in almost all wind conditions. We're enjoying the nationals. First couple of days were a little bit frustrating with the light winds and just getting getting to know the boat again. And there is so much good competition that we were struggling. We're enjoying the nationals and we're enjoying the social side and we enjoy meeting up with our friends. In all the conditions, it's been a bit light for us at the beginning of the week in terms of you know the lightweight teams. Um, but we, we kind of hung on in there. Uh, and decent wind today, so it looks like it's gonna be moderate tomorrow. So the whole range of conditions. So yeah, over the course of the week, it was really nice to see different boats at the front, depending on the wind strength. So at the start of the week, it was a bit lighter, a lot more kids around the front. Um, as the week went on, more of the heavier grown-ups um, were doing better. I think that there's there's a great fleet atmosphere going on. Like you've got your your family stuff; it's all really friendly, um, but you've still got really good close tactical racing. Post racing tip sessions were scheduled in the evenings to facilitate people's learning. Helping each other to improve is something very unique in the 2000 class. Everyone in the fleet was incredibly helpful. Obviously rocked up, had no idea how to set the boat up or anything. Asked three or four different people, they all said the same thing. Rigged the boat and went sailing, yeah. Yeah, for me, on the first day of sailing, I don't know how to rig up the boat and uh, everyone's so friendly and giving me a hand and there's no secret in the class. And then we just learn bit by bit and improve every single day. Uh, basically, it's a very simple boat to sail and it's absolutely incredibly difficult to sail it well. So, so uh, very different modes of sailing. You can sail it, quite difficult to get that right. And I think it's always a challenge to try, about, you know, to try and better yourself. So it's never the same twice. Trying to gauge how to sail it downwind is a challenge. And equally when you're sailing it upwind, there's a couple of little options you have. Certainly when the breeze is light, it's challenging. And, and, and equally when it gets windy. So uh, it's always got something to offer uh, and you, you think you've got the solution, but there's always something else to learn. So the aim of that is all about, is aimed at the middle to the back of the fleet. How do we get those people that have learnt those courses and just get into club racing, how do we get those towards the front of the fleet? Well, we do that by offering the tips. So there's no secrets, we give them the tips and help them move forwards. And that's what it's about. It's all trying to be inclusivity, getting people to move forwards. And actually more it's about the people that sail the boat. They're very generous, generous of spirit and always happy to share their sort of tips, how to, how to sail better, how to avoid awkward situations. And whether that's actually setting the boat up to, you know, whether it's for speed, for, whether it's for high winds, uh, there's, there's a lot of advice, there's a lot of guidance out there. And I think it's very inclusive. People actively want people to sail the boat well rather than keeping all the good ideas and the good advice to themselves. So that, I think, makes it quite unique. This year, we've seen many young sailors joining the championship as always, and the RS2000 is just the perfect boat for family sailing. Hello, I am Matthew Bailey, and I am 11 years old. I have sailed for five years, but three of them with a Laser 2000. Um, I sail with my dad. I like going fast in the 2000, planing with the spinnaker. My name is Oliver, I'm nine, and I like sailing in the 2000 because I go really fast. My name is Thomas, I'm eight years old. I like sailing because it is super fun. I sail a Pico Laser 2000 with my dad sometimes. I just want to sail for fun. My name's William and I am seven years old and I like sailing with my dad in a Laser 2000. So this is Benjamin Pascoe and he, he's age six and he's just competed in the Laser 2000 Nationals, his first Nationals, and he's come second. Happy, really happy. That's good Benjamin, well done. Likes it. You want it to go as fast as possible, don't you? He, he moans when we're going slowly, so he wants it to go faster and faster, don't you? Hi, I'm Louisa Ching. I'm 12 years old. It's a good boat and it's an, it's an easy one to sail and it's great to get started with. And me and my dad sell it really well. 
ambitious for future sailing, the same as what my dad is doing, basically sailing if I have any children around with them. I've always been in the 2000 fleet, I think I started when I was about six, sailing with my dad. Uh, my sister's won a couple of nationals with dad, I've won a couple, my mum's always there. So we've got my sister and her husband sail, I sail with my dad, my partner sails as well, my mum sails, as all of us, all of us all the time. All the friendly and enthusiastic volunteers from the Castle Cove Sailing Club have made this event a great success, allowing competitors to sail with ease and enjoy the utmost. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. What a great week we've had and the volunteers here uh, the, the Pasco family mainly in this club have just done so much, all of them, to make this such a success. I'm Martin Pasco, member of Castle Cove Sailing Club. Yes, we were here very early in the morning, but I just wanted to see them happy. Because I was volunteering, I was at one point, I think I was supposed to be on the leeward mark. Then I was supposed to be beach master, but each time we found somebody better at doing those jobs, and I found myself in the end, I was the floater. A lot of the wandering around the dinghy park and all this lot was just trying to get a feeling of the vibes. Were they enjoying themselves? Were they happy? Yeah. Oh, the club's fantastic. I mean, you just feel so welcome the minute I walked in. I arrived before I had a chance to even pop my car. Some guy had actually taken a road trader, virtually unpacked the boat, and I was like, oh, I feel at home. And they have done themselves so much good this week. The club is very friendly. Um, they're providing everything we need. Thank you, Castle Cove. <laughs> it's been a great week. Thank you, Cove, very much, Castle Cove Sailing Club. You're brilliant, and I'll come back again as soon as I can. No, thank you ever so much. Thank you just for you know, giving up your time sailing so that we could take over your dinghy park. Um, you know, really appreciate that. And thank you for being so welcoming. Fantastic from Castle Cove. You know, as a sailing secretary, I've organised it with the club and they've been really, really accommodating. They've come up with a top class race officer and organisation team and you know, the team in the galley and the bar and you know, all just volunteers. The beat team and everything else has kind of made it as a family. So yeah, fantastic venue. We're just talking to Sam about booking up for future years to come back again. I have been struck by the friendliness and again by the welcome of the uh, Castle Clove members and also the environment here. Because we've got two slipways, it's not congested, it's easy to get out and it's very, very quick to get out to the race area. As a club, it's got this wonderful deck that I'm stood on looking out. There's plenty of space, there's, you know, the parking's not a problem. Um, but the big thing is it's a volunteer run club, it's not professionally run. And people here have put a lot of time and effort into making this event work for us. And for that, quite frankly, I am absolutely indebted to the club because it, without the volunteers, without their sort of willingness, I, don't, I just don't think this, you know, this particular event would have been as successful as it has been. Oh, just thanks to Castle Cove for having us. They've been so friendly, uh, so welcoming, and produced some pretty cracking conditions, actually, champagne. Champagne today. Yeah, it's really nice because I've sailed over at the, um, the Sailing Academy over there a couple of times, and it's just a completely different vibe here. Next year's Nationals is going to be held at uh, Keyhaven Yacht Club, which is uh, near Lymington and Keyhaven sits uh, just to the north of Hurst Castle in the Solent and um, it's a, a small, smallish, uh, but an incredibly friendly sailing club. Uh, not that it's a particularly well-known nationals venue, but we think because of the atmosphere, because of the facilities, because of the, just really the welcome that we get there, it's the, it was the right, it was very much the right decision to host the 2023 Nationals there. And um, <laughs> I can almost guarantee that people who, who come along will A, have some excellent racing, and secondly, a brilliant social programme. And I say that not just for the real racers, but also for the family. It's right close to the New Forest, it's just on the south side of the New Forest. So from a point of view of those that camp or maybe have a camper van, it's brilliant. There's plenty of accommodation locally and there's plenty of attractions. It's very close to the Isle of Wight. Uh, so it's a fantastic holiday destination as well as it is a place for the nationals. Come and join us in an RS2000. Come, Come and, and join, join us in, in the RS2000. RS2000. Uh, so welcome to the RS2000 Class Association and the friendly family we've got here as well. <laughs>